we're going to be talking about uh, team centered requirement management. Um, as the as we see in uh, team center uh, capabilities, we have uh, many modules uh, and capabilities that supports engineering manufacturing operations from uh, start to to the end of the product and uh, delivery and service. So team center uh, provides advantage of a rich platform for adding additional engineering and manufacturing process capabilities uh, as the company grows and wants to take advantage of that uh, environment. Today, uh, we will review team center requirement management module. Uh, the agenda will go over uh, the importance of the requirement management, uh, capture and share requirements, uh, review basic functionality, uh, requirement management and integration with other applications. And uh, in, in between uh, my presentation, we'll have a little bit of a quick demos of, of the uh, application itself so you can get a, a feel for uh, the capabilities. Um, why managing requirements uh, and integration of those requirements with design is very important. And looking at a product life cycle, you can see it starts from planning uh, and defining the requirements for the product at the beginning of this uh, of the uh, uh, stage of the product development is very critical. Requirements, once captured, need to go somewhere, be connected, related to something if you expect to influence development with them, and then you can be able to track those requirements in a more uh, digital environment. With requirement management module, you will extend the value of your PLM investment. Mm -hmm. You can include suppliers, connect engineering with manufacturing and service, extend the value across the value of PLM across the product lifecycle, linking design decisions the intent of the product as defined by requirements. And uh, team center requirement management, it's uh, one of the best in class uh, requirement management capabilities that fully integrated with team center, as well as uh, it gives connection across the different team center modules. And it's one of the enablers for model based system engineering as many companies are getting into it. Um, to give a kind of a quick look and feel for the environment, as you can see in this quick demo, we'll, we'll have the requirement documentation, which is usually the companies either have them at an Excel file or they have them in a Word document. It's already defined over years and years. The engineering requirements are defined, and then you can import those into uh, team center requirement management and uh, team center is able to traverse through the requirement documentation and start identifying um, section by section what are the specific requirement uh, uh, line, on, line on items are. And then, uh, and then you can start linking those requirements with your design or with your other engineering requirements. And in this case, um, um, if the engineer wants to look at specific requirements and they wanted to look at some of the up updates and changes, they can start identify the requirements um, um, information and then using the team center workflow capabilities, send that to other engineers and try to get more clarifications. Team center helps you capture, maintain and share requirements, providing a single secure source of all requirements. Team Center supports live integrations with Microsoft Office applications, tools that you're already familiar with. Team Center Requirements Integrator enables the import and exchange of requirements documents from other tools and formats such as DOORS, uh, Team Center System Engineering, and industry standard requirement interchange format with Team Center Unified. Team Center Requirements Integrator, enabling users to capture requirements and store them in a Team Center so they can be managed, shared, and linked to other parts of product. Exchange requirements with external tools using control Team Center workflow to help ensure the entire team have a accurate set of requirements to work from, where uh, you can then 
accurately trace and intelligently assess the impact of the requirement changes on physical implementation to help uh, verify that all requirements are met regardless of the source. Any Word documents with objects such as PDF documents, office documents, or other documents built into the work uh, Word uh, requirement specifications can now be imported. The user can double click on the embedded files to download them and, uh, and then be able to uh, see them in the batch commands. So in this case, again, uh, looking at Active Workspace, which is a web-enabled team center uh, interface, uh, user can, can start to uh, look at a requirement document. They would go into their uh, local disk and find the requirement specifications. Again, a lot of companies have these requirement documentation available in the Word or Excel format. Uh, they would uh, import that into team center requirement module and then all the embedded applications and information along with um, we, within that documents will come in. So then you can pretty much uh, look at the embedded documents if there are, uh, in this case, uh, other US legal requirements summaries available. They can look at that and then um, be able to view that as well. By capturing requirements from external uh, applications, you know, some companies have been using doors for many years. It's one of the very um, early requirement management application or team center system engineering, or you can ensure accurate and consistent requirement exchange with customers or suppliers, which is essential in a typical OEM supplier relationship. Whether imported or exchange, you can easily find, share, maintain requirements in a single secure source by synchronization process. It can be executed manually or scheduled to coincide with the quiet times. The um, comprehensive import export capability ensures that all of the requirements, objects and their associated attributes, including image, text, structure, trace links, um, custom types, custom properties, and shortcuts are, are identified, processed, and maintained. And lastly, you can establish and reuse consistent import exchange templates across the uh, entire enterprise. You can now access Teams and requirements using Active Workspace, uh, which you saw a demo of it, um, enhancing the user experience by making it easier and faster for you to build in voice of the customer. Leveraging the Active Workspace client, you can create, edit, view, and approve requirements with a rich text editing capability or apply templates and export them to a Word or Excel. View, create, and edit com comments, rearrange the requirements, document structures, and requirement and renumber requirements, making it easier to find requirements needed. You can search by name, property, type, or ID, navigate content, make it, making it easier for, uh, for you to understand the requirement relationships. Uh, you can define trace links and display them in a network browser and trace matrix, all designed to help accelerate product development and improve decision-making. And let's uh, take a uh, look at some of the capabilities again. So again, leveraging the active workspace, you can create edit, view, approve uh, requirements. Um, and then uh, you can, uh, apply templates and export the requirements for use in Word and Excel Live. You can search and navigate and display capabilities, uh, enable you for search by name and type. And then again, we talked about the relationships, which is very strong capabilities for relationship and traceability in this release uh, that are, we have the new capabilities that you can define trace links and display them in a network browser and trace matrix. The links are color-coded to make it easier to identify the specific type of link relationship. Uh, in this, uh, you can see table view of requirements. Uh, that's active workspace window that can show to you, along with the menu options that allow you to export the requirements to Word and Excel, along with the examples of the output. The format of the documents are based on configured templates. 
Um, in the table based view, you can select the columns to display as well as create, delete, and edit requirements from a table. Uh, indicators help identify properties that are editable. And in the hierarchical structures, of requirements uh, are displayed from a table view. In addition, the user can edit requirements use the embedded HTML editor. Uh, using the Word Live capability embedded, the user can create and edit the requirement documents, and the user can specify, apply standard documents format to a predefined templates or templates that help ensure requirement specifications are always consistent with company or uh, customer standards to make it easier and clearer for all stakeholders. To investigate, review, and understand product requirements, users can view requirements using the split uh, pane and door pane view. As users navigate the requirement structures, they can also see the object associated with that requirements. Other panes are available and track the selection such that the users can view related properties or attributes. The split uh, view can uh, also be used to display the content of each requirements and requirement document structures being navigated. Uh, and again, uh, with, with Microsoft uh, Word, uh, makes it very easy to import, export, and edit your requirements within the, the environment. So you can, uh, uh, and and these are the type of environment that we already are already familiar with to to use. So let me show you another quick demo. Um, so again, uh, using Active Workspace, uh, engineer can go look at uh, the some of the uh, requirements which are specified. So they're, they're looking at the um, bicycle and camera assemblies and trying to understand uh, what are the requirements for uh, the viewing angle and um, and this example shows the integration of Team Center requirement module and all the requirements defined in your uh, Team Center requirement database with NX. So then you can start linking those NX uh, parameters, which are defining your design, the requirements which are coming from Team Center requirements. And then at that point, uh, you make sure that when you go to Team Center requirements and generate reports, which I'll show you later, you can actually uh, see uh, the designer uh, actually uh, has all of the requirements uh, taken care of. Uh, so this way, uh, and, and a system engineer can define the requirements in uh, or comes from customer or comes from the traditional uh, uh, database. And then uh, as a designer uh, working on their design, they can they can uh, link their parameters with the requirements defined in Team Center and then start seeing some uh, uh, accuracy of, uh, of how the design is, is showing between the camera width, camera weight, height, and how the design is compared to what's in the Team Center requirements. And then again, it's um, um, the validation of it can be done through looking at it in, in different phases of the design process, and then start looking at getting some um, um, in a table format, look uh, how, how we're progressing throughout the design process. So then at the, from point to point, you can actually look at um, and generating reports of uh, different in different milestones, making sure that uh, your requirement uh, passing specific uh, 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 timeline and then gives you a requirement assessment. Uh, in this case, for example, you see 72 percent um, of the requirements are met and then four percent are or four of them are uh, not meeting the requirements and uh, they're they're looking at uh, um, some of the reports in that fashion, and then the managers can look at the status of the uh, requirement to see where they pass and fail, and then they can deep dive into specific areas and say why these things are failing, and then look at and compare the requirements, making some decisions if they want to adjust the requirement definitions on 
to make sure that they're meeting uh, the design requirements as well as the customer uh, specifications. So in summary, um, there, you know, I went through some of the uh, specific as far as uh, importing requirement documents, uh, having the trace links, uh, ability to have uh, a matrix or heat map, uh, compare different uh, structures. Um, you can uh, show uh, the traceability matrix, then you can see other design requirements compared to each other, how if there are any uh, uh, discrepancy or overlap. And then, of course, you saw the example of the reports and how you can, uh, along design process, you can actually look at the different milestones and get an exact reports of what percentage of your requirements are passed. And uh, you can you can drill down and figure out the ones that are failing, what's the status of those projects. And then again, the uh, ability to uh, share the requirement information, which is all in the master database in Team Center, with uh, everybody which has access to Team Center. So you can you can get uh, manufacturing, customers, and service group, uh, purchasing quality, all the involved with uh, status of the requirement management. So the importance of um, of having requirement uh, now traditionally it's outside of your PLM environment. It's it's in a checklist. It's an Excel file. It might be a Word document, and a checker or designer uh, engineer later on they have to go through a checklist and and one by one manually make sure the um, requirements are met. And then they have, you know there there are uh, engineering meetings that they all get together and go with requirements and look at that. And all of that can be now digitized in the environment that you can get a report, uh, not uh, ensuring that you're not missing any requirements. And then your design parameters are linked with your uh, engineering requirements in Team Center. And then you can generate a report and make sure that um, you get a percentage of, of uh, um, pass fail of your requirements um, uh, in your design process. So there won't be any um, manual work or uh, uh, relying on the tribal knowledge on uh, making sure requirements are met. You actually will have everything uh, uh, embedded into your team center environments. And then um, that, that's your tribal knowledge, which is now uh, all digitized and coded in team center and can be used program after program as well as uh, can be updated and modified uh, electronically. And then anytime the new engineer comes along or designer working on an NX model, they can start linking those uh, and then you can trace them in that fashion. So in summary, um, uh, leveraging your team center platform and investment you've already made and start looking into different modules of team center. So well, how can I uh, now uh, add on more capabilities? So team center requirement management is, is one of those uh, modules. There are many other modules which I showed in the first slides that you can start looking into and say, well, how can I manage my materials requirements? Uh, how can I start getting into team center manufacturing and, man and manage my manufacturing bomb? So again, um, you can work with our Saratech uh, architects to actually start uh, looking at uh, how we can put together a roadmap of going beyond just the basic uh, foundational team center installation and how can we start get more and more um, process capabilities embedded into our PLM platform. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at Saratech